hello, good afternoon. Yes, it's gone four o'clock, which means it'll be going dark shortly. Have I had the bike out? No. I was going to, but uh, I thought I don't want to make me cough anyway. <laughs> uh, I went for that blood test on uh, Thursday, I think it was, was it Wednesday? And on the doctor's wall it said, have you had a persistent cough lasting more than three weeks? It could be serious, it could even be cancer. I thought, that's charming, isn't it? <clears throat> so I thought I won't make it any worse. <sighs> I'm a hypochondriac. Well, we're normally being healthy, anything like that. So as it gets you slightly worried. On Friday I finished work at 12. I didn't feel so good. Maybe it's just lack of sleep. And when I came home, I give the bike a good cleaning, can you see? <laughs> do you think it looks any different? I didn't clean that bit because of the rags. Oh, lucky. Just been too early for loads of uh, roller dreamies. You like them, don't you? Going cheap, they're having a story to sail on. Well, they do, don't they? Anything that's been in stock for a while. Anyway, yes, I give it a good clean. And I've, uh, I saw this. I think it's for cycles, but big tin for two forty nine. And it says post wash protection for all bikes. So I thought, is it oily? Let's see what it looks like on the forks. Sniff. Hmm, it's oily. Just smell a bit funny, not like WD 40, but I thought I'll squirt it on the vulnerable bits and it says it's meant to leave a protective layer. I was going to upload the video of me cleaning my bike and I thought, well, Someone said that uh, they're asking a lad why he doesn't upload many videos and he said it's quality over quantity. <laughs> and I thought, uh, hmm, I shouldn't really upload just rubbish, which might not interest people. See, I was saying this before, where do you actually squirt it? What it actually needs protecting? <coughs> Suspension. And on Friday there were all white spots on the fork legs, that's why I did a, a sort of intensive cleaning campaign on it. Good on surface scratches, I should tea cut them out but I'll give it a proper do next spring like I keep saying. And also, in the bicycle section these, I was actually thinking of getting another Oxford uh, Magnum lot, but they're like fifty pound. Like I said, like, like teenagers do. I like her, like her. And then I saw this, and I thought, yeah, it looks quite sturdy, sixteen mil. Because I wanted something to put under the seat permanently. Even though if someone's going to pinch a bike, they'll lift it into a van, won't they? And that'll make a good aid to put your hand on. Because where do you pick a bike up from? I've always thought with your shackle lock, it's a sort of handle to lift it into the back of a van. Ideally, you meant to fix them to a non-movable object, like a security bar or a street sign. So let's see if it fits. Hope I've not wasted five ninety-nine. <coughs> Where's the other bit going? Yeah, there's a little curve there for your U. Can't rest on the wiring, it must go there. It's a reset behind. Let's have a look. Oh. 
I know I'll snip them off after. So that's a curve. Hmm. Oh, let's see if it'll close. done after a little bit of jiggery porkery I've got to snip it off I'll get it out later pardon yeah, another reason is I'm very tired and last night I went shopping at Morrison's and uh, nine pound a litre bottle of Cockburn's was it Corbin's Finest Reserve Port. So I bought a bottle of that and glugged it as I was watching. He had a John Lennon night on Sky Art, so I was watching that new documentary for two hours. And I thought I'm still a bit uh, squiffy today. Not really, but sometimes you just don't feel like it, do you? I thought I'd go into Rivington again. <laughs> and see how many turn up, but would the burger van have closed up, or would it uh, not even have been there today? Would it be closed off for Christmas events again in the actual barn, where you can go inside and get warm? And like I said, I didn't want to make my dodgy lungs any worse. Shut up, Lord, make me cleaning my bike. You can always turn it off if you think it's crap and boring. Not there's any points of interest. So that's it, shackle lock, 5.99. Functional, not £50 like the bloody Oxford Magnum, although it's only a little short one. It'll still go through the, the main bit. <laughs> Nothing else to report, is there? I hate winter, let's be honest. What else, apart from Christmas, is there anything is there to look forward to? Even Christmas is crap. If you live alone, although I think I'll drag myself out to the pub. And, like I said, I might have that uh, night round Clitheroe. Could do with a good night out. On the last day, like I did last year. Yep, 13.7 volts, 0.85 amps. They're even cheaper now, someone was selling them. Uh, one of the bike shops, I had a Dixon's. Or uh, Yule's. Oh, that's what I did, aren't we on from work on Friday as well? I thought I'll call it Dixon's because. Tony gave me that little can of chain wax, it's nearly gone. Tony Kitchen, thank you Tony. I thought must, someone must sell them. It is raining in. Okay. I put some flashing on that in summertime. Is it leaking somehow? Well it was blustery, maybe it's blowing in. Anyway, yeah, I went to Dixon's, and this is six ninety nine for a big can. Well, a 400ml can. Specialist chain works well, it says it on the little one. So I got two cans, other ones. Is that the other one? Yeah. Oh no. That's a chain lube I got from that uh, A1 store. I know I shouldn't keep buying different stuff, but I do prefer the chain wax. Because it actually stays on rather than flings off right I'm sorry not been out on the bike but that's what I do in winter it's either maintenance or cleaning or stay inside <laughs> bye for now I'll upload them other clips I think why not if you get bored go and put the kettle on and delete me
Well, yes, I'm back home. Just had a brew, lots of biscuits, put the telly on. Put two big pans of water on and they, they were boiling. So I put three cold pans in. So it's just lukewarm. I should have left it a bit hotter, actually. And yes, before you say, I know that washing up liquid can change salt. And last year I mentioned this to Del Boy's garage because he was using furry liquid or whatever. He said, the amount of people that moan about that, it's only a minute amount. A lot better than leaving, than leaving the road salt on. I said, I know, I'm just saying what other people have said. He meant to use proper uh, soapy washing solution from the car shop or from the supermarket, aren't you? But if you haven't got any, I think this will do. I know this isn't crucial, silences, but I just thought I'd give it a an all over wash as it's due. I was going to keep all the crap on, because like I said, to me, greasy crap will protect all the metalwork over winter. I've fixed that a Tyson horn speaker in the wrong bloody place. It should be flush against here to protect the cable. And I have to cut that off again and reposition it and point it down. It also deflects rain off my legs. <laughs> I wore Adam's bright orange pants this morning, but a little bit tight on the leg. I should wear two pairs really, that's an idea. Black pair and then put the orange ones on top. But as I've mentioned before, if the weather's really bad I ring for a taxi but last week I had no choice because they weren't bloody running any because of the weather. I think they all stay in bed where it's warm. remember last year when all the exhaust clamps rotted well I mean they must have rotted over a number of years but I was saying they're difficult you don't really think of cleaning salt off them but they must get it from the bloody splash from the front wheel and then it eats your way into the metal so I should get the horse back really and give it a quick blast down there it's actually not a good idea to wash a bike then leave it. I should go for a little blast afterwards to dry it off. But that'll defeat the entire object because it'll get potential salt on again, won't it? So it's a bit of a quandary. I've done a video before saying uh, wash your bike and then take it out, not vice versa. But each to their own, does it matter? Well, it does matter if it gets rusty. But I think most bike corrosion and rust is just superficial and it doesn't get left long enough to make any kind of permanent damage to the surface of the metal, does it? Hopefully. I'm going to look for some of them horns on eBay now. I should always have a spare pair because they packed up last winter. I'll have to get some more. See, it's not hot enough to dissolve grease. I should get a little power washer in to blast all that crap away from spray over spray you know, when I was spraying the chain wax on last time thought it were loose then yeah. 
That's a good brush, that was from uh, a cheap ore shop, about three pound it was. Connect it to a hose, but of course it'll leak like a saver being a crappy Chinese thing. So I just use it on its own. <coughs> I know I've sort of wasted some, haven't I? Mm. Was there some chirping? The bloody battery ran out in me. Commuting helmet. So it gave me an opportunity to uh, boil some more water. <coughs> I'll do this side. I shouldn't have done the other. This side with the dirty water. When you get down to the last few inches, it's filthy with. Keep pulling your brush in and out. You neutral. Uh, yes. <coughs> I'm going to say I shouldn't kneel down, but these jeans are going in the wash in a minute. So it doesn't matter. I do have some degreasing spray, but this will get the sort of top layer of crap off. And if I should leave it to soak in and have another cup of tea. <laughs> That's the thing about change, everything just gets fuller, buddy. Grease and, of course, road grit sticks to the grease, doesn't it? If only I had shaft drive again, let me know it's all can be silver wing. Not putting my gloves on ever, taking the risk here. So he said, that's what they're for because so many sharp bits on bikes and there's a nasty cut if you're not careful. These gauntlets were only a fag, they're from a uh, steam rally, a stall on a steam rally. <laughs> I think they're for farmers to do things with cows and stuff. Not a lot of room there, is there? It has uh, been long overdue, and it's good clean. In fact, this isn't really a good clean because what I should do is get some proper spray like muck off, squirt it on, leave it for half an hour, and then clean it all off. But I'm afraid it's washing up liquid today. You can see just masses of grit stuck to the rim. Look at all that, can you see? Dirty, dirty. Really, I should get a cloth. Get a cloth, Grenville. And like I said, get WD-40 squirted on the cloth. That will shift all this. It's stuck on grit. Yeah. It's a really thick layer, that. No point even carrying on doing that. <sighs> Like I said, I'll leave all the gunk on until next spring and then clean it off. I just spent a uh, course of an hour redoing my tires and on. Can you see it's pointing down now? And just loads it. I've used a full roll. And if that ever packs up, they still sell. The speakers on eBay for seven ninety nine with a silly and highly illegal siren sound, so I could just send for it and use a speaker if it ever packs in. And there they go, Rusty. I 
Anyway, the white salty spots have come off. Doing it all again, aren't I? Somewhere on that side, we need to go around now, I don't Oops. You want know more pistons seizing up? Or is this likely to make them seize up? And this is on the post guide. Um, there's a lens steaming up. Quite hot water, they didn't put as much cold in as before. Well, hopefully, that's most of the salt off anyway. That was the idea behind this. Done my screen and my headlight. And, oops, done the back end. And they're ready for all that winter can throw at us. I clean the tail light as well, it always gets grimy. Short vehicle stickers looking a bit crap. See that's where they sell them, that shop I went past this afternoon, I could have got one. I was full, I just had to delete some of my commuting video. Right, well, final rinse. Full of washing powder, this. That'll do. Like a fine mist. Like I said, ideally, I should take it out for a, a good run around to dry it off. But, like I keep saying, there's any bloody salt on the road, it's going to get splattered again. So like I said, there's the quandary. Do you leave it wet and risk this going rusty? Although it does mostly drip off, doesn't it? Where's it going to gather? Under there. Ideally, you should get one of them uh, blowers. You can get a heated blower that blasts your bike dry. And they're not that expensive, apparently. But would they get into all the nooks and crannies? Someone was talking about one last year. I forgot who, one of my viewers, saying I should get one. I think about 70 quid. Like a leaf blower, but with a... No heating elements in. Look at all this crap. Ooh, that's grimy. All off my front wheel. If it'll be a brighter green after I've finished, probably not. I'll leave it sod it. Stray cat treading it, so what? So there you are, looks a lot cleaner, doesn't it? Right from that guns where I've overspread the chain wax. So if we can get into this habit every, <laughs> ideally every day, but what a pain. It's about an hour, isn't it, every day of your life. During the winter commute. Or is it best just to leave it, like I said, leave it greasy, spray a load of grease on. I actually thought of spraying that wax all over, but keep it away from the brakes, just spray it. But what gets corroded? Just the four legs and the brakes, and of course you can't put bloody grease on the brakes. <sighs> I've got that chain cleaner. 
Yeah, that chain cleaner, I was spraying that because it's a solvent last year onto the brake pads, but you never know if it's going to damage a motor go or said something damages brake pads. Oh, it's that stuff, isn't it? ACF 50. We well, meant to spray that. Because what exactly does get corroded on a bike and loot crap? The engine, no. There's nuts and bolts and they're replaceable, aren't they? I forgot to spray down there, didn't I? That's what I didn't do last year and all those header pipes got rusty, although that took 14 years to fall apart. So like I said, this new, or as new, exhaust system should outlast the bike. I mean, if I've done that every winter, just blast down where the headers are, it would have washed all that bloody salt off. Because that's what's rotted them, rust. I think it's all running off again. So I should have done that over the past six years I've owned this bike. Well, <sighs> I'll go and get the uh, newspaper, there weren't any this morning, lottery, milk. And I'll have a look at me back tomorrow. Pity this isn't an uh, actual shed with walls on, rather than being open. And block all No, I'm going to say it would have blocked all the lights out, but compensate by fitting more bulbs. Hmm. Lots of faffing about. I thought it a lift on, lift off door. Was that a red one? I don't my mum made a huge tongue and groove door and lifted it on and off. And I lift it off, put it here, get the bike out, put it back. But that was resting on bricks. I put a brick at either side, rested the door on, put four bolts in. But no, it's not necessary. Even if it does get grotty over winds, you can soon polish it up and solve all auto cell and a few rags, so nothing to worry about, is there? Famous last words. Hang them up. I to mop my seat. So. Oh, that's super glue blobs. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I must go to the bog. <laughs>